Hello everyone, this is John Robinson from Blueprint. Today is July 29th, 2022, and this is a monthly asset allocation update video. This month in our co-founder's note, which is the written piece that we uh, put together in conjunction with this video, we talk about the value of inaction and how inaction can sometimes be a very strong offensive posture. So for us in this particular market environment, as we've gone through 2022, our asset allocation strategies have become more and more defensive. And this month, the markets bounce back some. And so we address how we're positioned, how we'll continue to be positioned, which is going to be very defensive and continue to be very defensive, and how that might look going forward and how we're conscious of this. Our systems and our strategies take these periods into account and how we're very comfortable continuing to sit on the sidelines with uh, a substantial portion of our assets, depending on the strategy, in ultra short term fixed income while we wait for a rising trend to confirm on the upside in US stocks. So, what does that look like for us as we go into August? Well, uh, really very boring this month. Uh, no changes in our asset allocation strategies. So, uh, US equity wise, still have downtrends both time frames at minimum allocations, no change. Foreign develop the same way, downtrends over both time frames as well as emerging. Uh, they continue to be at their minima, minimum allocations as does real estate. Real estate's in uh, downtrends over the intermediate and long term, so it will remain uh, at its minimum allocation as well as nominal bonds and inflation protected securities. You can see the, uh, you get the picture here. Uh, I said at the beginning, this is very boring and the portfolio literally will have no changes uh, except for some rebalancing back to target in, in some accounts. And we have uh, some changes going on, very minor changes in our single stock strategies, which I'll talk about later. So the only uh, asset class that we're overweight is ultra short term bonds. Um, recently, we've seen some strength develop in, in the uh, longer or uh, outer portions of the yield curve, uh, not enough to indicate that the trend is now positive. So therefore, we will continue to hide out in very low duration bonds, cash equivalents, um, until the trend changes either in equities, where we'll hand that exposure back, or in uh, longer duration fixed income, which means we would just push out of ultra short term back into adding some duration into the portfolio. Graphically here, you can see uh, no change going from July to August. So the key takeaways, well, we're still in downtrends in US equities. We bounced back some, uh, but not nearly enough to re-engage at a macro asset class level, the rising trend even in the intermediate term. What that means for us is we'll remain defensive with most of our allocations pushed towards ultra short term duration fixed income. And lastly, as I mentioned at the, at the beginning, uh, for us, sometimes, in a, in actually in life, sometimes inaction is a form of action, if you're conscious of it. And for us, we want our, our goal is to keep compounding at or near its highest point. And sometimes that means, particularly in these environments, we win by losing less. And for us, as the prism by which we look at the world through trend following, uh, the environment has not changed for us, despite July being a positive month. Um, it, it slightly above average, uh, that is not nearly enough to, to dictate an environment change for us where we're going to now put risk back on in the portfolio. Now look, if August continues as July did, uh, there is a high probability that we would re-engage with some of that exposure, not going back to baseline or overweight, but we would re-engage in, in some exposure. On the single stock side, um, we are re-engaging slightly in, in the tech sector, which we're very underweight in. And we're also engaging in some of the cons larger consumer staple stocks that have now entered intermediate uh, or both intermediate and long-term uptrends. So by and large though, we're, re we're remaining very defensive until we get evidence from price trends that the environment has changed. So. What can we do for you? Um, we're developing a lot of pieces. We have a white paper coming out 
uh, potentially next month or the, or the month after, which we'll follow up with a, a webinar and a series of content pieces talking about retirement income. And this is a topic we get asked about often, and we think you'll find that interesting. So um, stay on alert for that. But if you have an idea for a white paper, for a content piece, for something we could get on and explain to your clients uh, alongside you as partners, please let us know. You know, as always, nothing for us is off the table. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, either to tell us an idea or to discuss an idea, go to blueprintip.com. My email is on the screen and my phone number is on the screen. Uh, you can reach any of us uh, at any time. And we love dialogue and we love talking to our partners. So please feel free to reach out to us at any time. So with that, we're entering the dog days of summer. We're probably in the dog days of, su of summer. I hope your summer is going really well. I hope uh, this video finds you and, and your family healthy and safe. And we hope you continue to enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the summer. And we'll see you back here at the end of August. Thanks. Mm -hmm.